Okay, um, real quick before we do this part, uh, just to let you know, when you're back in the course the second time, um, right before you get into the bridge, you, this part right here, this, uh, this, yeah, there we go, okay. this part right here, wait, when you get to this part, you're gonna do it about four times or so before getting into the bridge, right? Just to let you know. Okay. This next part's gonna use a lot of whammy and a lot of distortion. Um, I'm gonna keep the same settings I have. Um, yeah. Alright, so. Pulling out these tabs real quick. So I don't have this part by memory. I just know. But this is right because I checked it all. All right, and this tab will be in the description. So, um, yeah, okay, okay. When you're done with this, sort of depress the whammy so it, it does this downward trem effect. And then you kind of just like fade off into the distance, into the distance, yeah. And then you're gonna come back in with a. Just whammy that a little. Then you're gonna go at. Sorry, that was the fifth fret of the E string, by the way. Then you go to the G string. G string. All right. Anyway, you go to the seventh fret of the G string. You're gonna play. The seventh fret twice, and then with your middle finger ready on the on the B string, you're gonna play the eighth fret. So that's after the the two seventh frets on the G, on the G string. So you're also gonna wanna whammy those really good, really well, really good, gooder. Yeah. And just um, kind of just uh, press the strings a little. Just touch them, kind of like harmonics. So just no, uh, just touch it and like that. The little little quick part, you know, you know what I mean. And then it goes. All right, breakdown. Fifth fret of the E string, boom. To the fifth fret of the E of the A string. Give it a little vibrato or a little or a little whammy. Um, I like to vibrato uh, if I if I if I don't have a whammy bar you know available. And vibrato is just uh, you um, kind of pushing up and down very slightly. With your finger, so uh, just do that. Okay. So the fifth fret of the E string, fifth fret of the A string, first fret of the E string, third fret of the A string, first fret of the A of the A string. Slide all the way down to the twelfth fret of the A string. Kind of bend it. Bend it, go back into the regular, so like uh, stop, uh, bring your bending back up. Then you're gonna go to the ninth and then the tenth fret of the A string. So. And my brought that a lot or whammy it on. Then you're gonna go back up to the fifteenth fret of the A string, and then you're gonna bend that and whammy at the same time. Uh, so. Then you're gonna repeat that um, uh, once more. Yeah, you're gonna repeat that one more time, and then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And then the next bit you play will be um that bit okay that is uh when you wait you wait for it to come up you wait for that part to come you're gonna go to the 12th fret of the d string you're gonna play it and then you're gonna go to the 12th fret of the g string so and then you're gonna bend that bring your bending back up so you're back at normal you're back to normal and then you're gonna when you come back to normal whammy it like whammy the crap out of it like whammy like you've never whammied before and then you're gonna uh, let's see you're gonna slide down up and down and whammy at the same time from that fret right so you do that and whammy at the same time then you're gonna come up to the 15th fret of the D string hammer on to the 17th uh, back down to the 15 and then to the 15th fret of the G string and you're gonna bend that and, and whammy some about three times till you come back to normal then you're gonna play around with the 19th fret I'm sorry uh, the 14th fret of the G string bend it like about four or six times so and then you're gonna come to this part that's Uh, that part. Um, so, um, okay, I'm sorry. I got sidetracked. I was thinking about unicorns and stuff. Um, yeah, go to the 12th fret of the D string, or in the 12th fret of the of the G string. Just alternate picking, but play the play the D string once before you start. So you know, like a pickup. I'm not telling you how many times you're playing this because uh, this is all on the tab that I give you that will be in the description. So um, yeah, just alternate pick from there, but play the D string one time before you start. Put your middle finger on the 13th fret of the D string, keeping your index finger right where it is on the 12th fret of the G string. So. Uh, then from there you're gonna put your ring finger on the 14th fret of the G string so keeping your middle finger there on the 13th fret of the D string then you're gonna bring your index finger to the 12th fret of the D string and then your pinky to the 15th fret of the G string Then you're gonna pull off from the from the 14th fret to the 12th fret of the G string and hammer on to the 14th. So. Give it some vibrato whammy. Then bend on the uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. On the 19th fret of the on the G string, so. Mm -hmm. 